So you've probably done this. You've probably grabbed one of my stock photos and put it on a Canva template for Pinterest, which is great. However, you try to figure out where to put the text. So unless you want to put it up here or in, you know, down here, you're usually grabbing some form of a overlay in Canva and making it transparent and doing something like that. And then you can put your text over and what have you. But this, this bundle that I've just put together is a gradient file. This is a PNG file that you can upload just like a regular image into your Canva files. And I've created multiple colors and I'm gonna show you how you can even make your own custom colors right in Canva. But let me show you a few things that you can do with the gradients. You just drop it in like a regular image and now you've created something a little more interesting than just one overlay. Now if you wanted to do this dark red color, that probably goes a little better with the coffee which is a nice way to do something a little bit different and call attention to your Pinterest. So let's just say you're gonna say, type in something for your pin image. Now, this might work perfect for you, but you can make additional changes. So while I'm clicked on the gradient, I can come over to the filter and I can change the brightness and make it a little darker to change that color. And then I can also play around with tinting if I wanted something a little more orange. And I can play around with contrast to make it deeper and saturation to make it brighter. So you can play around with these colors after you've uploaded them and put them on your photo. Now you might have trouble if you drag it too far down, it'll wipe out the photo that you've placed underneath it. So here's a trick. You can click on the gradient and click on crop. Then you want to just crop it. Let's try that again. Crop. And you just want to crop it to where it's a little bit smaller than the image you're going to use. I created these for Pinterest images, but you can use them on anything. You can use them vertically like this, or you can rotate it the other way around. You could rotate it to the side. There are so many ways that you can use this. Now, if I cover up the whole image, it might try to wipe out the photo in the back, which is a little tricky. So my best tip for you is to use only a portion of the gradient and just crop out what you don't need. And so there, now that I've cropped it a little, it fits over my image and it's not taking that image out. I've got one more trick I want to show you though. You can use these colors together, which makes for an interesting, very interesting Pinterest image. And so if you've got two brand colors and you want to play around with making them work together, you can do that. And it's really, really very, very simple. So there you have it. That is a way that you can use the gradients for Canva.